No one really remembers how we got here. Those old enough to have lived through it either died in the famine that followed or were used as food for the young and hungry. Some say it was China, tired of waiting for a deadbeat nation to pay back its debts, delivering a nuclear kneecapping to settle its accounts for good. Others think it was Pakistan trying to save face with the radicals by shipping a few dozen warheads to places like Mumbai, Jerusalem, London, New York. And then there's the holy rollers of New Southwest Confederacy. They'll tell you with a straight face it was the Messiah himself that came down to smite the infidels and illegals with fire and isotopes. Doesn't really matter either way. Politics are a moot point when you're staring down the barrel of a gun. And as far as religion goes, the only saints we pray to these days is Saint Beretta and Saint Kalashnikov. Praise God and pass the ammunition. We used to worry about things like mortgages, credit cards, rising costs of a double latte. Now every moment is defined by three simple needs. Food, ammo, covering fire. Primal living is simple living. Just shooters and targets, victors and victims. The old ones called this place America. We just call it no man's land. <laughs>